who, uh, well, he's, he's in good company tonight. He's run 9.96 this season. Ashley is from Jamaica. Another one we've got to look out for. Has gone under 10 seconds this yeah, year. Just, yeah, 999 he's run. So with these conditions here tonight, well, they could be seeing them shave on the road time off their season's first, do they? Well, I'm hoping the winning time will at least be under that magical 10 second barrier. Who takes the victory? It could be any of them. Such an open race now, barring, of course, the fact that the big man's not here. But heading towards the World Championships, you feel that this event has suddenly been blown wide open. Let's go to commentary. So Silmont, Bailey Cole, Collins, Vico, Gatlin, Rogers, Ashmead and Locke, the men's 100 metres time. So Rogers going well and here comes Kim Collins and Gatlin and also through the middle is Vico but Gatlin gets it, Vico in second place, it really is a very very lock on the, on the near side, could have got second but that was 9.94 and that uh, went very much with the form book I guess it was pretty tough as a race for all of them really but Gatlin looked so good earlier on in the uh, relay, the 4 by 100 metres relay and uh, he ran the last leg for an American team that uh, ran very, very quickly indeed as a rehearsal for the World Championships in three weeks' time. But uh, Justin Gatlin, uh, let's have another look at this, uh, Steve. Well, you know, you can't get away from the fact that Gatlin is uh, another man who has uh, had a drugs ban and it's not good for 100 metre running in the world at the moment. And Gatlin is the man who's the one of a sudden who's there to take on both, isn't he? And, you know, he's winning these diamond leagues. And, some people, particularly Americans, are saying, look, forget about it and move on, but the sport cannot ignore the fact that if you're know, the 100 metres, the Blue Ribbon event, is in a difficult situation right now. Yeah, it is. Collins, doesn't it go well, though? Start well, third from the right. Gatlin just gets into his right. Vico threatened here, but right on the left of the shot. Um, Locke just featured in the end, didn't he? Well, Locke, you know, he ran the American Championships, and when he finished the race, he thought he pulled his hamstring. And he hasn't raced since then, and he actually didn't fill out the forms to, that you normally fill in to say you're eligible to go to the World Championships as a great American student. Well, that's on at all. But he's, you know, he's come here, he hasn't run since the trials, he's shown that that race in the trials wasn't a fluke, and he's just come under 10 seconds here, and the first best, 996, and he's very close to winning that. So Denzel Lock on the uh, far side, and sometimes when you're over there in lane, Eight, close to the crowd here in there, Monica, as I said, it's sometimes hard for us to see. I'm not sure Gatlin was actually where he was there. Hiko, after that, had a great run in the French Championship in around 995, backs that up with another super tech talking as well. Into a slight headwind, minus 0.4. And they've had all the great events we've seen tonight. Maybe the 100 meters, it was, it was, it was Bill who was one of the big events. Maybe it's ended up with a slight handy climax, given that everything that's been going on. Absolutely. Yeah, but the big Frenchman impressed me. He is big, certainly. And uh, we'll now get the evidence of it all. Justin Gatlin then wins it with 9.94. Talius Locke of the United States, right on lane 8. Personal best of 9.96. And Jimmy Vico uh, behind him with 9.99. It was all about the start, wasn't it? You, you commentated that beautifully, Gav, <laughs> off air there. You were absolutely right with everything that you said. That, For example, Jimmy Vico, he literally just popped up. He didn't go into what we call the drive phase. He went literally straight into the running phase. And I was surprised that he didn't tie up when you do that, because you expel energy in a different way. But Justin Gatlin is an accomplished 100 meter runner. He's been in big races on many occasions and, and always hauled and fell through. And he did that yet again today. So it was a good race, three men under 10 seconds. Um, 
But what does it really tell us about what possibly could happen in the USA and Jamaican relay team? For a change, we're looking at the Jamaicans going from 6th and 7th. We're very not used to that. It's a huge it's surprise. It's a new scenario, that, isn't it? Seeing them so low down in the field relatively for them. Um, Justin Gatlin, you know, it, He's exactly the kind of person, really, that we don't really want to be winning races like this in a week like this, isn't he? Because he's had two bans from the sport, yeah. and this was those people at home will see. It doesn't really do any good, because you have somebody who was tested positive, comes back, he's winning these races. What if he pops up in the World Championships and surprises us all somehow and, and beat you same goal? That would be the worst possible PR. Yeah, we, we don't want to see that happen, really, especially when we try to uh, tell the young to avoid this situation because it seems like we can allow you back in and you can perform at the highest level. We don't want that to be the, the real message. But he's here, he's competing, and all the other athletes have to compete against him. So they just deal with it. And the most important thing is to say is to, to race against him and beat him as, as much as you possibly can. experience did show.